Do you want to create an AI like this? I will show you the exact steps on how to achieve this. Alright. Now let's start making our AI. So firstly we need to get the template. Open the inventory. See you can just drag and drop it here. We have the animate script and there's a bindable event that we need it which is necessary for the scripting part we are going to do now we need to get animations for this guy search r6 walking animations see this specific model we need it and insert it here all right now we can open the animation editor and just migrate it to server storage because we need the animations if we deleted that the all the saves were gone then it's something in that roblox added let's take the idle animation and publish nice copy the id open the animate script then go to idle select both of these by pressing shift and click then control v and enter all right we got the idle animation now let's get the walking animation so click the three dots load find walk version 3 looks good then we publish it to roblox copy the id then paste it here run anim and also put it in walk anim also all right now we can see that the animations are working As you can see, the animations are working perfectly. Now we need to create paths for the character. Create a folder, make it paths. Now we just need to add part objects as their wave points. Make sure that it's anchored illusions off and weigh everything turned off and put this transparency 0.5 and make it red this is our checkpoint now we have to duplicate this all over the place press ctrl D and drag it now select both of them press ctrl D and drag them yeah like that okay now we are done with this so let's focus on the scripting part i mean i don't want to code give me the robots model file instead create a folder called modules we'll create a module script it's going to be called ai module and inside the script, we will add another module script, which is going to be called pathfinding. Next, we are going to insert an actor. We added an actor so that we could use the tal lua feature. Now, let's insert a script inside it and let's call it let's call it execution so in the script we are going to use this to execute the modules so we have set up everything so we are all right now we can start coding all right so now we need to get the service script service service here in the variables so local service script service game get service server script service 
then we get run service here game get get service run service now modules server script dot modules local ai module equal to require modules dot ai module next we are going to create create a variable for this bindable event called parallel execution local parallel execution script dot parent dot parent dot al execution so let's create a function called bindable bindable execution all right now let's add the pal execution here dot event connect we need to connect to pal so that we could use pal Luma. now we could call the function here bindable execution then we are going to fire it so in order to use it so we're gonna add some code here before we do that we need to you we need to fill the code here in the ai module local ai module ai then function ai underscore module dot new in here we are using an object oriented structure Let's fill up the variables. Self set meta table. Then AI underscore module written AI mod module. Let's add the AI here. AI model. We need it. It's necessary. And we are going to add this so that whenever we are executing this function, we're going to see it that it needs a model. And this is a model, so this is what it needs. Needs to in order to use the function self dot ai equal to ai and self dot patrol time equal to three seconds. So this is going to be used later on. I'll touch on that soon. Then self dot ai dot primary part isn't equal nil then self dot ai primary part set network owner nil this is going to be used so that the ai is not going to stutter when walking around now now we can create the function for patrolling ai underscore module patrol all right, so in order to use the patrol function, we need to fill the pathfinding function first. So pathfinding, copy it, paste it here. Then we're going to add the pathfinding service. Game get service, pathfinding. Wait. Now we're going to create a function, pathfinding, then call it move to we're going to need the primary part as a base part and path location as a vector 3 we are not going to use object oriented programming structure here but we are going to fill out fill out this function first so local path equal to pathfinding dot create colon create path then local then path compute async primary path dot position then path location 
we need all the two vector two values here then we are going to do path dot status equal to enum dot path status dot success then else want failed to find a path all right now we are going to input some code here so it's going to plot wave points equal to path get wave points then return path and wave points all right we are done here now we can go to the ai module and fill out everything here so firstly we are actually going to add task.synchronize because it's not safe for reading in parallel now okay now we can go to the ai module then we are in the patrol function in here we are going to add if self dot ai dot primary part equal to nil then return n so basically we are checking the if the primary part is existing or not this mostly happens when when the ai is dead so we need to make sure that it doesn't error the code also we need to add another function which is going to be called chosen path so it is going to be path finding chosen path so we need to make a parameter for the paths folder is going to be and we need to add this so that we could communicate through here now let's create a function called random path equal random dot new chosen path equal to random path dot go in next integer one Hashtag paths get children written chosen path paths folder get children chosen path dot position. So now we are done here. Now we can go to the AI module and add all the functions so local path location equal to equal to oh almost forgot so we need to add this just for code communication purposes oh. hmm. all right all right now we're going to require the module local path finding equal to require script dot having the script dot path find script dot path finding local path location equal to path finding chosen path workspace dot paths so we are calling this this folder here now we could call the other function which is the move to function we're going to call path path then wave points equal to path finding move to then we are going to add self dot ai dot primary part then the path location here so basically what's the next thing we are going to do is make sure that the AI chooses its own path randomly so for example here this checkpoint if it selects this one then it's going to 
compute the path and according to that if it's success then it's going to go like this or if it's not it's gonna warn us with saying in the output fail to find the path all right now back to the script we can we use the if statement path and wave points make sure that they are not nil or else if we are not going to add it it's gonna error for underscore wave point in i pairs wave points we are just going to add wave points do local teleport to wave point wave point dot position make sure that we are adding the wave point here not this one we are also going to create a variable called reads equal fonts then we're going to add self dot ai dot humanoid move move to now we are going to add task not synchronize so that we could go in a serial phase as this is also not safe in pal then wave point dot position then self dot ai dot humanoid dot move to finished connect function then we're going to use this for reach and this will be called is reached instead so if the character didn't reach yet so it's going to be false else so this is used for make making sure that if the character is stuck somewhere we could then teleport the character to its respective place so for example self dot ai dot primary part c frame we could add a c frame dot new then wave point dot position we need this variable so that we could add it here then we're going to call the reach variable equal to true then we also true instead we can just add this is reached then we're going to do task dot desynchronize so that we could go into the pal phase and repeat task dot wait until is reached equal to true so we are making sure that whenever this function is called we are not directly directly looping through the function for example there is a pro there's an issue which occurs when you don't add this where the AI starts to choose random paths every every second so which which will which will hinder which will hinder its uh, so which will hinder the which will look make the AI look confusing which will make the AI confused which path it should go so we need to add it for debound sake. We are adding this so that we are not looping through rapidly. Basically, so so we are adding this task dot way. So we are adding this so that the player is not. We are adding is. We are adding this so that. It's not messing the players. We are adding this. We are adding this because whenever you are going to execute this code, the AI is going to randomly 
walk around choosing random paths like if it's confused where to go so make sure to add this then we are going to add task.load and now we are going to use some patrol time self variable which we have made it here all right now we can go to the execution string and we're going to call the variable called local execution equal to ai underscore module dot new then script dot parent dot parent the parent is the r6 character now now we are going to add task dot synchronize as we are going to add a run service so run service dot heartbeat connect parallel then function okay leave that that's a plugin that i added so it's easier for me to okay that was just a plugin function <clears throat> Task that synchronize. Then we're going to add run service dot heartbeat go around connect parallel function and then done. Next we are going to add a variable called patrol debounce, which is going to be false initially, and we're going to add a Patrol deep. Now in here we have to loop the patrolling. <clears throat> All right. Now we need to create a system for patrolling. So we we are going to loop through the we are going to loop through the code and <clears throat> okay. Let's add a. Let's use the run service variable that we have used that, that we have added before. Let's use the run service. Let's use a run service variable as we have added it before. Run service dot heartbeat connect parallel. This is going to be in the parallel phase. And All right, now we can add a variable called patrol debounce. So basically we are making a loop for, for the AI to patrol around, for the AI to patrol around. So basically we are making a loop where the AI is going to patrol around the checkpoints. Now we could add the run service dot heartbeat function here which is going to be called in parallel. Then we are going to add an if statement for the patrol debounce to make sure that it doesn't unnecessarily loop through again. So it won't unnecessarily loop through the function again, which could confuse the AI. So execution patrol and patrol debounce equal to false so i believe we are done here let's test the ai once oh oh my bad so in here we have to add a task dot synchronize synchronize oh we have to use a oh it was a see See, this was the error I got as set network owner is not so is not safe when using parallel. So we could this add task dot synchronize here. Then we can run the code. All right, we got another error. Oh. 
self dot I found out my mistake. I return I was returning the table, but I have to return the self variable instead. That's why. Okay. I got stumbled upon another error. So we hmm. Alright, we got another error. So we are going to see where we have made the mistake wow the mistake was right here so it's written self instead of instead of the instead of calling the table instead of calling this table we have to use the self meta table now we can run and test the game as you can see it's working hmm. Yeah, it's walking around, patrolling to another place. Oh, I added a print function here. It's working as intended. Next, we're going to start duplicating all the AIs. So let's create a folder just to organize, just to organize the workspace called NPCs. Then then add as many as you can then run the game all right all right now let's uh, let's clean our code a bit based on organization so we're going to space out things okay much better then all right, looks everything clean. Everything looks clean and working steadily. Now, if you want to add multiple AIs, then you have to, then you should create a folder, even though it's not necessary, but just for organization sake. So it's going to be called NPCs. We are going to duplicate a lot. All right, now we can run. As you can see, they work perfectly fine. Also, this output thing, you know. Now we can run the game. As you can see, everything works fantastic. The AIs choose their own independent route. So everything is working good. Now, if you want to play test the game, okay. Now, if you want to play test the game, play press F five. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you. If you are new to the channel. Make sure to subscribe. Yo, 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 yo. If you're interested in AI, you should totally check this video out. Click here. If you're interested in pathfinding AI, you should totally watch the video on the screen. Click here. If you're interested in uh, if if you're interested in knowing and 